Hello and many thanks for joining me, Elvis, for yet another Somerset Real Ale review. I have got here another beer from the RCH Brewery. This is their old G Spot, a stroke of genius. And I'm not sure whether these beers are just uh, rebranded versions of their standard range. Um, hopefully, you can sort of read that on there. Um, and just bottled without the yeast, um, which is, I say it's a shame, but then to be fair, if it tastes good, then really does it really matter? But uh, sort of, sort of rebranded and, and bottled without yeast for, for sort of, um, you know, supermarkets and small shops that don't, perhaps, or big shops maybe, that don't want the yeast in their beers. Anyway, it's a refreshing bitter, 500ml brand bottle, 4% EBV. Let's crack it open. Smoky, glass over here. Um, yeah, I mean, I love RCH Brewery, they're my local brewery and I will support them. Um, traditional sort of beers they brew, which are very good. Um, I won't pour it all in because then I won't be able to get my big nose in the, uh, in the bottle. Well, it's kind of like a caramel sort of colour, ambery, beautifully pris crystal, cr crystal clear. Um, which doesn't bother me with a beer. One finger, little sort of brownish, tannish head. Let's get the nose in. Oh, it smells really malty, sort of sweet malt. Garibaldi biscuits, uh, nice and fruity. Slight grassy malt, um, gra grassy hop in there. Um, yeah, it smells like it's going to be a good little sort of session ale. Cheers, everyone. Uh, and yeah, that is lovely, sweet, rounded, woody, fruity, nice bitter finish to it. This is a really good example of an English bitter. Mm. This is not a hoppy beer. This is a nice, malty, biscuity, fruity, Bitter with a nice, obviously a bitter, nice bitter twang at the end, and you get, you really get that woody sort of flavour at the end there. <coughs> Pardon me, it's quite carbonated as well. I'll tell you what, I'll chuck the rest in just for good measure. Um, RCH Brewery Western Supermare, obviously. Um, contains barley and may contain wheat, oats, rye, and spelt corn. It's dark base, blah 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 blah. Branded drinks is coming out. Oh, there's nothing. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, G Spot is a light, refreshing 4% bitter with a malt and hop aroma, a hoppy taste, and a dry finish with some bitterness. Hoppy taste? Dunno, not sure about that. I would say that. I, I, the malt is sort of shining through for me there. I really get that sort of sweet malt in there. And then a sort of woody, woody finish. Not sure what hops they've used in that. It would be nice to know what hops they've used in that to see, because I can't really, I mean, you can pick up hops in it, obviously, but from the bitterness side, it is just, just a good bitterness, like a hop, obviously a hobby bitterness, but. Nonetheless, Still a nice session beer, perhaps too a little a little too carbonated in the bottle. But old G spot, good name. That for me is going to get we'll give it a six out of ten. It's a good bitter. I like it. Um, if it didn't have so much carbonation in it, I would give it a seven because I really I, I, I like the flavour, but the carbonation for me is a little bit you know, too gassy. Um, it's almost like I want to swirl it round in the glass and get rid of some of that carbonation, but still a really nice session beer. Definitely get it again. And um, go out and try it. Find it, buy it, drink it, love it. Thanks for watching me.
Love to see your comments down there in the comments box. Hopefully you'll join me again soon for another review. Cheers everyone.